Hey guys, this is Pete Collins, one of the Photoshop guys here at Kelby Media Group, and I want to talk to you about white balance in your pictures. Oftentimes when you take a picture, you may have accidentally had the wrong setting on your camera for your white balance, or the lighting may have changed, and you get some pictures that you're not quite sure if the color is correct, or sometimes you can tell very easily that it's way too blue or way too yellow. Well, I'm going to show you how to do a fix whether you're in Camera Raw, Lightroom, or in Photoshop. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Here we go. If I double click into this image, which is a group of images I took at my sister's wedding. Weddings can often be tricky because you've got a lot of different light sources. So I'm just going to click on this. And now I'm not going to deal with a lot of the exposure changes or anything like that. Right now I'm going to start out with the very first thing, which is white balance right up top. And as you see, my white balance right now is set for as shot. Well, if you just click on the drop-down menu, you've got all these other options you can choose from. I always like to check out Auto to see if there's something that looks a little bit better that the camera and the computer may think are better than what I shot. And then I may just roll down and see how does it look cloudy, a little shade. And the only difference is you'll notice this temperature line right beneath it. Every time I make a new change, it just adjusts where the temperature line is set. Right now it's at 2850. If I go fluorescent, jumps to 38 and flash goes to 5500. And so that's all you're really changing whenever you make an adjustment to your white balance is this temperature scale. And so if I go back up to shot, you'll see I've shot it at 6500. And to be honest, I think either that or maybe shade or cloudy will do just fine. And so let's say, for instance, I had shot this picture and I had set my white balance way off and it did something like this. I'm sure y'all have done this. I've done this many a times. I get a picture and it looks pretty good, except for my white balance is horrendous. Well, besides just choosing one of these drop-down menus, I can come over here and choose the third icon, which is a white balance tool. And what this is going to do is it's going to try to take whatever I pick and set it as a shade of white, gray, or black. And so if I simply choose something that's white, say like his collar, it's going to get rid of that color cast that I had in there and bring it back to normal. Now, however, there is a little bit of a caveat to that. If you come to a place that automatically has some interesting color in it, say like the reflection of this disco light on my dad's forehead, it's going to skew the direction and it's going to try to bring that to gray so it's going to create an extra color cast in the other direction. So you do have to be aware that you want to try to find something either white, gray, or even black. I could go down here to my dad's suit. So you don't have to go for specifically a white area, but you need to get something that's going to be in the white, gray, or black arena. And so there you go. Real quickly, I've fixed any color cast, and I'm ready to go on to the next thing of doing exposure and all that stuff. But now let's say we have an image in Lightroom. Same picture. And you'll notice that it's almost the exact same setup. Here's the secret. Lightroom and Camera Raw are the same engines. They're developed by the same folks. They're just in two different programs to help develop your images. So you're going to find out if I go to Custom and choose any of these in my white balance, they're going to be the same list and they're going to do the same thing. As Shot, we can go to Cloudy. We can do all that. And the, really the only difference, here's my temperature gauge here, I can go cooler or I can go warmer, is my eyedropper is here instead of sitting across the, the, the panel. It's right here. I grab it and Lightroom has an extra feature of this target center that shows my red, green, and blue percentages, which helps me to pick something that's a neutral color. I want to pick an area that all the percentages are pretty much the same. So if I go over here, it's definitely more blue than anything else. If I go over here, it's not too bad. It's a little bit more blue than I want. So I'm going to come rotate around until I find something that's going to be pretty close to neutral. That if I pick something like that, it's going to fix most of the color cast. Now let's go over to Photoshop and look at another scenario. Let's say you have a JPEG that you've already opened and you're not working with it in Camera Raw or Lightroom and you just want to change the white balance in Photoshop. 
You can do that very easily by simply coming over here and choosing the fourth icon over either direction that's right in the middle and choosing levels. And what levels does is it helps you adjust the black, gray, and white levels of your image. And if you choose the gray eyedropper right in the middle, it acts a lot like the eyedroppers you used in the other two programs. You want to find an area that's got a neutral gray to it and click on that and you'll get a fairly good reading of what the environment's supposed to be like for the white balance. So very quickly and easily you can just add this adjustment layer, choose the middle eyedropper and do the same thing as you've done in Adobe Camera Raw and in Lightroom. So don't be afraid if you've got a picture that looks way out of kilter as far as with white balance. You can take care of it very quickly and easily in any of these programs and it's going to turn out uh, much better than you think. So once again, I'm Pete Collins, one of the Photoshop guys here at Kelby Media Group, and I hope to see you next time.